హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ హోస్ట్ గురునాథ డోగి ఫ్రమ్ ఆన్లైన్ బాబ్ డాట్ కామ్ అండ్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వే గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ వే గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కాంపొనెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ టూల్ బాక్స్ దట్ ఈస్ డేటా కన్వర్జన్ కాంపొనెంట్ ఎస్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ టుడే వే గోయింగ్ టు ఓన్లీ టాక్ అబౌట్ డేటా కన్వర్జన్ కాంపొనెంట్ హౌ ఇట్ హౌ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ దిస్ అండ్ వై వీ నీడ్ టు యూజ్ దిస్ కాంపొనెంట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వర్క్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కాంపొనెంట్ ఇన్ ఈటీఎల్ ప్రాసెస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్షన్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మేషన్ అండ్ లోడింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు నో మోర్ అబౌట్ ద ఈటీఎల్ ప్రాసెస్ యూ కెన్ గో అండ్ వాచ్ మై ప్రీవియస్ అప్లోడెడ్ వీడియో దట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ కంప్లీట్లీ డెడికేటెడ్ టు ద ఈటీఎల్ ప్రాసెస్ ఓన్లీ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు నో కంప్లీట్లీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఈటీఎల్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ఇన్ యువర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ దెన్ గో అండ్ వాచ్ దట్ మై ఈటీఎల్ వీడియో so now in this video we are going to get started with the data conversion component okay and before we get started with this video subscribe to my channel like to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest updated videos so friends let's get started with the video so my friends before we get started with the practical example using the data conversion tool let's understand what is data conversion tool so in a simple line if i tell you what is data conversion tool it is nothing but converting of data from data type from one type to another type what does it means let me make you understand in simple way let's suppose you have a data type of string and uh, you want to convert that data type into the integer so in mspi if you want to do this kind of work of converting one data type to the another data type then you need to use data conversion tool yes my friends so data conversion tool it basically helps to convert one data type to the another data type okay so what is what work it does in in ssis that is in etl process what is the role of the data conversion tool because we get the extraction data from different sources because the data sources can be of anything can be of a text file can be of a csv file can be of excel file can be of sql file a source can be anything okay so uh, using this various sources a uh, data comes in various formats because of this various types and because of this various sources what happens your data type is not uniform of the data okay so while you are loading this data to the data, uh, data destination or data warehouse what happens your data type should match with the destination data type yes let's suppose your destination data type ask you in numeric data or integer data and but you are sending that data from the source end as a string then your destination data will not accept that data to the data warehouse yes in order to make that data to accept to the data uh, data warehouse you need some kind of conversion that is nothing but your data conversion and data conversion it happens only using the data conversion tool of ssis that's why my friends it is very important tool in ssis and it is the part of etl process because it plays a major role you know because every time you have a source data and if you want to dump that data to the destination then you need to do the data conversion and you need to change the data type using the data conversion tool so it is very important my friends you know to convert the data type to the another type as per your data warehouse so friends now that you have understood about the data conversion tool now let's go straight to the practical example now and let's do the real time example so for that let me show you my source file first so this is my source file friends you know as you can see this is my source file where i have created the customer id customer name purchase product purchase name quantity the amount the customer visited date and the converted usd amount okay so this is my uh, source file okay and these are the records as you can see these are the four records which i am going to insert into the data warehouse now let's go to the data warehouse and see the design of the data warehouse as you can see this is my data warehouse table that is customer let me just show you the design now as you can see i have a customer code and the customer name product purchase quantity then amount with the money data type the customer visited date 
with the date and time and the usd amount with the money data type okay so uh, the data which is coming from the source end okay so when we load this data source to the data warehouse we make sure that all the data type should match perfectly as per the data warehouse so before the insertion we will do all the necessary conversion according to the data warehouse we check you know what kind of data type we need in data warehouse to make sure that proper loading happens to the data warehouse so data type should match perfectly then only proper loading will happen to the data warehouse if there is mismatch if there is column data type mismatch with the data warehouse column data type then the loading will not happen successfully in order to be, in order to make sure that successful loading happens to the data warehouse we make sure that proper data conversion happens before the loading takes place so friends let's perform this example now with the proper example step by step so let's go to our msbi that is visual studio msbi and here now we are going to perform the example so look into it carefully step by step since we are performing a data flow task you know that is nothing but that extraction transformation and loading we need a data flow task toolbar you know so for this from the ssi toolbox i am going to fetch this data flow task tool and drag and drop to the control flow tab i will just double click on this and it takes me to the data flow task so now in the data flow tab from the ssi toolbox i am going to fetch from the source end since our source file is text file that is flat file source so here from the source end you know as you can see i am going to drag and drop this tool that is flat file source okay as you can see the flat file source is ready here now we need to configure this flat file source so in order to configure this flat file source just right click on this and click on the edit okay it is new yes say the connection new and uh, pop up will come uh, we need to just browse and uh, customer source as you can see the columns it is here as you can see advance okay as you can see the data type just see the data type here customer id data type is string it is showing this customer name it is showing string product purchase data type is, it is showing me string quantity it is showing me string for all the columns it is showing me the same data type so we need to convert this data type in the transformation part so just say okay okay columns are here yes perfect just say okay yes so we have successfully configured the flat file source that is the source we have successfully configured now we need to do the transformation part the extraction has been done from the source file now we need to do the transformation the transformation part we will perform using the data conversion tools so same ssi toolbox and here we are going to just drag and drop data conversion tool so this is pretty important now we'll just pin this here yes now we will configure this data conversion tool in order to configure the data conversion tool just right click on the component and just say edit and select the columns which we want to convert the data type since all the columns have the string data type we will first go and check our the design view of the data warehouse so customer code we need we need integer the customer name it is fine that is var care product purchase is fine because it's var care only here so string will be accepted here in the both the columns and the quantity is, and the quantity is n var care here we would have kept it like int or uh, double int float anything you know but here purposely i just kept n var care so here the string uh, data type will work fine so we don't need to change anything to this three columns that is customer name product purchase and quantity all the these three columns are perfectly fine as per the data source so here we don't need to change anything now comes the fourth column that is actual amount here the data type is money so we need to convert this data type so 
here what it, what it is coming from the source end it is coming as a string type so we need to convert straight to the money type and the second uh, and the second last column that is customer visited it here again it is coming as a string format so we need to convert the data type from the string to data time date and time here so now the final is the usd amount it is still it is coming from the source end as a string format only here also we need to do the conversion to the money so the four columns we have to convert that is customer code actual amount customer visited date and usd amount these four columns we need to do the type conversion that is data type conversion so let's perform this so i will choose as customer id the customer amount customer visited date and customer usd amount these are the four columns which we need to convert it so here the customer id so here it is string it is showing me because the incoming data from the extraction it is coming in the string format only so here we need to do the four byte integer conversion so here four byte signed integer i will select okay and customer actual amount the currency is needed so here i will do as currency okay and the same to the usd amount also currency so here as you can see four byte signed integer and now customer visited date here we need to do the date and time so here date and time yes date and time we will select okay database date okay so this is what the conversion has been done successfully now just click on the okay now now one more thing you now before just before we just say okay here output alias you know as you can see the output of the name output name of this column is different than the input column name okay as you can see the input column name is csv customer id here the here the output name which will come out as a copy of csv id so here what i will do here here i will say here i will say new you can give any other name you know here i will say new csv here also i will say new here i will just replace the name with new and final new okay i will just click on okay there you go we have successfully assigned a new data type to the uh, extracted data so now finally we need to do the loading part you know so for that i will go to the destination because now the destination part came so here i am going to select ada.net as my destination since our our source file is our destination is sql server okay so let's do that so friends as you can see we are now at the final stage of the loading part that is we are now going to load the the data to the extracted data and the transformed data to the data warehouse that is sql server data warehouse so in order to do that we will just configure the ada.net destination component so in order to configure that just right click on the component and click on the edit link edit connection manager is new just cancel this new yes this is my uh, connection data connection okay and a table which i am going to use is the customer okay since as you can see my customer since my data table is a customer table so i am going to select here as a customer table mapping okay so now the next step is after configuring the connection manager successfully now we need to do the mapping thing you know since we have the extracted data input also and we have con configured the data co converted data type output also so different different column names are there so we need to do the proper mapping you know with the data warehouse column name so customer id here i am not going to select this customer id because we have already we already have the new column name with the customer id 
which we have converted the data type of that column name okay so here i'm going to select customer code to the customer id the actual amount to the actual amount yes customer visited date usd amount yes everything is done now and finally we will do the normal mapping product purchase and the quantity there you go we have done successfully okay preview perfect click on okay yes so friends as you can see we have successfully configured the idea.net destination component also now let's run this and check whether we are getting the proper extraction conversion and loading or not whether we have successfully achieved the etl process or not using our transformation tool that is data conversion so friends now let's run this program now so in order to run this i'm just clicking on the start button now so execution is started as you can see let's see whether we will do the proper extraction transformation and loading or not as you can see friends you know we have successfully extracted the, extracted the data from the source file and we got the four rows and successfully transformed that data using the data conversion and here also we got that four rows and finally dumped the data into the data warehouse that is sql server data warehouse using the idea.net destination since we got the four records so it is showing us the four rows and four rows here also so as you can see all the uh, all the tool it is showing me the right sign here it means we did the proper extraction transformation and loading that is extraction flat file source transformation using the data conversion tool and finally loading using the idea.net destination tool so we have successfully performed this action let's check the data warehouse whether we have inserted the data properly or not so let me just stop this example now just stop the debugging here and uh, let's go to our sql server now i am going to click on the customer table because we have loaded all the records to this customer table only so let me just show you as you can see friends we got the four records successfully with the proper customer name that is sham shiv khadak and arjun as you can see we got the proper quantity also we got the actual amount properly and we got the date we got the usd amount everything is perfectly fine as you can see you can compare here we got the sham shiv khadak and arjun we got all the four records perfectly so this is how friends we can use the data conversion tool so friends use this tool as a transformation part you know if you want to do any type any kind of data type transformation and load the data successfully to the data warehouse with the proper data type conversion only so this is all about it friends if you guys got any kind of query any kind of doubts you can post your queries and doubts in the comments below of this video and definitely i am going to reply to your doubts and queries if you got any kind of questions you can feel free to ask me you can feel free to ask me any queries also i am there to answer all your doubts and queries and i am there to support you in ms in solving the msbi step by step friends if you are looking for msbi training or if you want to learn msbi step by step with me, with me you can get in touch with me easily on this number just call on this number and uh, just get in touch with me definitely i am going to help you to take the msbi training step by step and this is the url you can follow if you if you are looking for more uh, technical trainings like uh, if you want to learn more mvc design pattern angular python data science or anything you can follow this url you can get in touch with the team and call on this number if you are looking for msbi training step by step so friends thank you very much see you next time on the next video thank you